The Word of God is always so positive. Amen. You'll go through life suffering. Because being negative as a lifestyle is suffering. It's suffering. And then you'll see somebody, the Holy Spirit will show you others that don't have hardly anything compared to what you have. And they don't seem to be suffering about anything. They're thinking right. <laughs> they seem to be believing right. And they're doing right. And you see the joy of the Lord. And they have just as many trials as you have. Whenever I think I have trials, I'll see somebody on TV. I get a letter. Or uh, you go to YouTube and you can see sometimes some of the things that people go through. You say, my God. My God. What I go through, I mean nothing compared to what that person is going through. Thousands of people like that just in this country. You see some of the pictures of some of the people. You look at their bodies. They look like they're from, from Mars. Mm -hmm. Their skin is all, I don't know how to describe it. And they live like this. Their bodies are distorted. Just all kinds of things. And it breaks your heart. And you, and you start, you, you, sometimes you start to weep. And you pray for them. It just, it just happens because it, it breaks your heart. And then the Holy Spirit speaks sweetly to your, to your heart. You know, say, look at that person. Look at their condition. Can I? Then, then I just say, Lord, forgive me. I feel guilty if I have complained. It's okay to complain to the Lord. But then believe that he's going to help. You have to believe it. How do I stress that? You have to believe that he's going to help. Well, the Lord knows I'm hurting. No, he wants you to believe him for it. He's looking for somebody that will believe him. And to think right, think according to His Word. When the world is, is, is thinking their own way, you're different. You're thinking according, you're believing God's Word. You're thinking about it. You're meditating on His Word day and night. Yeah. Amen. God's looking for somebody that will believe Him. Amen. So He can begin to move in their situation and maybe just use that person. He do whatever He wants. Lord, do whatever you, here I am, do whatever you want. That's what He's looking for. Well, not me, Lord. I want to be uh, this and that. I want to be a big shot or I want to be... I want to be the president of the company. God don't want to hear that foolishness. God wants to hear, hear, here I am, Lord, do what you want. Whatever it is. If you want it, I want it. I'm surrendered to your will. And thank you for the privilege and the honor that I could even say that. Amen. Amen. That's what God's looking for. You don't get drafted into the military and, and, and say, well, I want to fly an F-18. The guy wants you to fly that mop first. <laughs> Learn to fly a mop, and that F-18 may never come. God may not have that for you. And another guy, Lord, I don't want no F-18. If I get five feet off the ground, I'm nervous. Why don't we let God figure all that out? Let him, the Bible said that he placed the, the, the parts of the body as he, as he will. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. He, he decided what place you're going to have in the body of Christ. Let's let him do that. Let's be positive where we are. I know we have troubles and situations, but let's think positive. Let's believe God for the best, and God will begin to turn that situation around. I believe that. Would you stand with me? Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today.